We're talking about my favorite Ryan in this VFX breakdown. Welcome to VFX Breakdown, the show where we show you how to do your favorite visual effects from TV and film. Last month, the Ryan Reynolds film Free Guy hit streaming services, and my God, is it good? Because it is what we like to call in the business a VFX overload. It was so good. It's like Ryan Reynolds just can't make a bad movie. Deadpool, Deadpool 2, Just Friends, other movies. Right, name me a bad Ryan Reynolds movie. I'll wait. Still can't think of one. Still can't think of one, can you? See, he's got no bad movies. Let's take a look at one of my favorite VFX shots from Free Guy, Dude. <laughs> oh. So we're gonna show you how we did our own version of this face swap effect, and that tutorial starts right... Hold on for a little bit, dramatic effect, now. All right, so we're gonna start in a brand new composition in Adobe After Effects. Now I'm gonna take my footage that we have, the real buff guy, and we'll drop it into our composition. There he is in all his glory. So the first thing we're going to have to do with this footage is I need to track it. So I'm going to go to my Effects and Presets tab, and I'm going to type in Mocha Pro. And I'm going to drop that onto my composition. Then let's launch Mocha Pro. So now that I'm in Mocha Pro, I'm going to take my X-Spline tool, and I'm going to draw a mask around the face where I want to track. So go ahead and go all the way around the face, just like that. So now I'm gonna come down to my settings and I'm going to check mesh under the track settings. Change automatic to uniform and hit generate mesh. So that's gonna generate my track points. Now I do want a couple more track points so I'm gonna change the mesh size from 32 down to 20 and smash track. And then you just kind of just wait for it to track. It's tracking much faster than uh, you think it is because we sped this up, but you know. Now that that is done, I'm gonna go to show planar surface and I'm going to extend that all the way out to the borders. I'm gonna go out to stabilize, I'm gonna hit a mesh warp and I'm gonna change that from draft to high. And then I'm gonna save my tracking data. So now that tracking data is saved, I'm gonna drop in my footage of Casey. There he is, good old Casey. Now I'm going to take my masking tool and I'm going to draw a mask around just Casey's face. That works. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to kind of do a scale rotation and adjust the face so that it works onto the model. And I'm going to pre-compose that layer. Now I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my original footage. I'm going to copy Mocha Pro into my pre-comped layer. I go down to module renders, I go to lens undistort, change, uh, change it to stabilize warp, then hit high and hit render. Cool, so now you see that the mask is attached to the model. Now I'm gonna do a little bit of position keyframing just to make it look a little more natural. That looks pretty good. And I will keyframe those and add some easy ease. There we go. So the last thing I need to do with this is I need to color correct it to make it look like it's actually on Casey's face. So I'll add some Lumetri color. And I will adjust the exposure, the saturation, the contrast, the highlights, until it works completely perfect with Casey's face. Hey, if you liked this video, why not give it a like, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment below, and hit that bell notification so you never miss any of our future uploads. And now without any further ado, it's time to see me as a Chad in our version of the face swap effect from Free Guy.
Oh, 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 oh,